Hey guys, welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. Today we're going to be talking about how to engage your core correctly, your inner muscles or your transverse abdominis muscles, and then how to check to make sure that you are engaging them correctly. This is one video in a series of videos that I do for diastasis recti or postpartum core healing, so I will link to that playlist in the cards above or in the description box below. But if you like videos like these, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell to get notified every time we put out a new video. Of course, always check with your doctor or your physiotherapist, especially pelvic floor physiotherapists are amazing and can give you individualized instructions. Our transverse abdominal muscles are our deepest inner core layer, and they wrap around our core inside like a corset and then attach to our spine at the back. We want to learn to engage these muscles properly in order to heal our core after baby, as well as we want to be able to engage them to safely do other exercises. So to start, we're gonna get down on our back safely. And so coming down on our side and then you can roll over onto your back. So now that we're down on the ground, we can find our bony hip protrusions here and we're gonna to wanna to go about two inches in and one inch down. So it's sort of diagonal towards our pubic bone here and we wanna feel right there and then we want to Activate our pelvic core, so picturing a raisin or a blueberry at the opening of our vagina and sucking it up. And then we want to pull our lower belly away from our pants as if it was hot. So pulling it in. So we're not sucking up into our ribs by going, but we're pulling, we're using our inner core muscles, our transverse abdominis muscles to pull away from our pant line there. So you should feel it getting um, tight or activated at that point on the diagonal line towards your pubic bone. And actions that we have to do to engage this are if we are doing a posterior pelvic tilt, you will also feel it activate, or if we're lifting up one leg. So to check and to see if you're doing it properly, you should be able to feel that same activation without doing those movements as if when you are doing those movements. So do those movements and see if you can feel it activating or getting a little bit tense. And then we want to relax, Kegel, pull your lower belly in, or you can visualize zipping it up and see if you can feel that same tightening happening. And that's when you are engaging your transverse abdominis muscles. Another way to test is to do the leg lift test. So. If you are relaxed and you lift your leg, it will interrupt your breathing a little bit and you will feel your body move and your core engages. But if you're already engaged there, then it should be very easy to lift your leg up and down. It shouldn't interrupt your breath or your talking and you should already be engaged and it should be tightened there so you can test that way as well. While you are engaging your core, you want to make sure that you continue to breathe. And we want to do diaphragmatic breathing. Um, I'm also going to link to a video up there on how to do proper diaphragmatic breathing so that we can keep our core engaged. Um, but we do want to make sure, so the two most common mistakes, I, I mentioned one already, are sucking in and sucking air up into the ribs. And so that's not engaging there. It's just putting the air into the ribs. And then the other thing that people do is they engage too much and then they're putting downward pressure, um, an intra-abdominal pressure. So instead of engaging and flattening, they are bearing down. And you can see that my stomach rose a little bit there. So I'm engaging and bearing down and that's too much. It's putting pressure on the pelvic floor and intra-abdominal pressure pulling apart the muscles, um, which is working against healing your diastasis recti. So you want to make sure that your stomach, when you are engaging, isn't rising up, but you want it to be pulling away and flattening and tightening inside those bony hip protrusions there. So let me know in the comments with a simple yes or no if now you can feel whether you are correctly engaging your core muscles or not. 
And hopefully now that you know how, throughout your day, several times, you can engage these muscles in different positions just as you're going about your day and work on healing your core. I'm also going to link to another 10-minute um, video up there or in the description box below um, of a 10-minute core exercise that you can work on to heal your core. I also have my complete guide on how I healed my four-finger diastasis recti gap after my pregnancy, so I will put the link to that in the description box below. And if you're interested in weight management or weight loss after pregnancy, as a dietitian and a bariatric educator, I also have a free course and I'll put that in the description box below. Of course, feel free to ask any questions um, or any comments that you have in the comments below. And I'll also link to a Facebook support group of moms healing their core after baby as well. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found it helpful. If you haven't subscribed yet, you can subscribe by hitting the round profile circle right there. I'm also going to link to the diastasis recti core healing playlist and a postpartum yoga and fitness playlist as well. All right. I'll see you next time. Bye.